Hey guys, Smokey here. Um, <clears throat> have the headset like close. Since I can't use my earbuds because of my tubes, I can't wear this for at least a month normally. So I'm going to be recording audio like this, no matter how stupid it looks. I'm going to adjust my light here a little bit. There, that should be a little bit better. Uh, that. <clears throat> Sorry if you hear family guy in the background. I wanted to start doing story videos. And this one is going to be about my grandpa's dog, Sissy. My mom's dad. My grandpa, when he got remarried, and my step grandma and her daughters moved in, they had a dog named Sissy. Sissy was. Uh, I mean, they had her forever up until uh, um, a few years ago. Here's a picture of Sissy. She's a black dog. I'm not sure what kind of dog breed she is. They didn't know. So we never found out what breed she was. Um, <clears throat> anyways, the reason I'm telling you guys about Sissy is I've been seeing a lot of like people with rescue dogs. You know, rescuing dogs and stuff on the channel. Hey, look. I'm going to tell you how Sissy kind of became a rescue dog. <laughs> um, well, my, like I said, oh man, I'll be chewing gum. I might take my gum out. <laughs> well, my, they got Sissy. Sissy was a perfectly fine, normal dog. You know, healthy and stuff. Well, one day my grandpa was going to work and didn't know where the dog was and didn't, you know, think because she usually got out when he would turn the vehicle on. Well, she was under the vehicle and when he went the back out, he ran over her. So he took her to the vet, called off from work that day, and they performed, not performed, performed surgery on her and saved her but after the surgery she became blind and deaf now this is where the story gets cool because she was a very smart dog she, you know if you it's weird you know if you for her being deaf if you wanted her and blind if you wanted her attention it's weird. You could say sissy and she would still come to you. So I don't know if she was not all the way deaf, maybe. But she, she would still come to us. She knew her way around their house, no matter how many times they changed it. Because my grandpa, at least she would change the lay about their house every couple of years. Sometimes more than once in a year. This depends. Um, but she, the dog stayed with my grandpa after my aunt moved out and... I don't know if she can't have it at the place she lived at, but, and stuff, and, um, Sissy was a very smart dog, she was a very good dog, but like I said, she had an act for hiding under the vehicles, so, they had her, I want to say, till 2018, and my grandpa got remarried in the 90s, so, <laughs> she was an old dog by the time I got to meet her. And, you know, remember meeting her and stuff. She, could, she still got around pretty good for as old as she was. She had breathing issues also, you know. And that could be a mixture of being ran over and, you know, just being old. Well, a little bit later on, what, about a year or two before she passed... I think it will, no. It's 2011-2012. She got ran over a second time. I'm going to be right back, guys. My nose is... Alright, I'm back. <laughs> um, when she... Got ran over the second time. You know, she survived it, too. Okay. Oh, that closed. Uh, but the doctor said she may not live a year. Oh, well, she lived until 2018. Okay. Well, my grandpa did it for a third time. That time, he just decided, as much as it hurt him to do it, and as old as she was, he just, you know, went ahead and put her down himself. So see, you know, it's, it was sad, you know. Growing up with that dog, <coughs> knowing her for as long as we did, and then to have 
have something like that happen to her not once, not twice, but three times, and still be alive after it happening the first time, let alone the second time, it amazes me. Because uh, I remember my mom getting a text the second time it happened. Because the first time happened not too long after they got, you know, that they got together. And got my grandpa and my grandma got married sometime after that. And, and then, you have won the founding father like, this is just so crazy. Um, I gotta get a picture of her off the, you know, Chromebook's still here. But she was such a good doll. I miss her. She was a pretty girl. She was a good girl. If she, if she still ate hard food until she was dead. That dog, you know, is 20-something years old. I hope Brody lives that long. I hope all of our dogs live that long, honestly, because they're all good dogs. You know. Even if they are getting old, I mean, Bert and Piper are eight years old. Birdie's going to be one in April. Pants going to be seven. I mean, so what? We won't At some point, Boomer's going to be four. It's crazy. Penelope's going to be one in October. I think August, October, somewhere. See around mom's birthday or dad's birthday, which is funny because one layer of pups was born a day before dad's birthday. One layer was born a day after his birthday, and one was born around mom's birthday. Or two, you know, and then the snooze litter was born around Mom's birthday also, I think. I might have to go through pictures, because I got pictures from around the time they were born. The the newest litter, because I didn't have a phone back when Piper had her other litters. I might have when Boomer was born, because that would have been about 2018 when I started the channel. So, yeah. But anyways, this was a sad video, but like I said, I wanted to start doing videos about the family. Or about my family, not the family. I say about the family, I feel like I'm the diesel. <laughs> but that's it. Uh, make sure you tickle the subscribe button. <laughs> and I'll see, you know, if you want to like and stuff, do that. Anyways, check out my social medias. They'll be linked in the bio. Peace.